Have you seen how bad Andrew Tate looks? He looks terrible, doesn't he? This is what some people are saying, like as if you would look all glamorous after spending four months in prison, dealing with loads of stress, not being able to see your family, having poor nutrition, thinking that the next step that's going to happen is you're going to be killed, unable to groom yourself and have a good lifestyle. Of course you're going to look bad. But anyway, we've had a few people ask me to comment on his physique. The day he got released from prison and placed on house arrest, he uploaded a video to his Twitter, pacing back and forth with his top off, looking like he was deep in thought. And I guarantee that this was probably something that he'd done in jail as well, because what else is there to do apart from press ups, walking back and forth and reading his Quran? Here's the video. So a few people wanted me to comment on his physique. Has he built muscle? Has he lost weight? Or has he just got fatter? Well, judging by first glance, he's obviously gained a bit of weight. He's got a little bit more body fat on him, not as much muscle definition, although he does look significantly bigger. Now, what we have to remember is that body fat occupies more space than muscle. So it is possible that he could have lost a little bit of muscle and gained a little bit of fat. Now, that being said, he did mention in a recent interview that he's done 7,400 push-ups. Who heard us today because they were very attentive and they listened to us and, and they let us free five to get back to the I have no resentment in my heart for the country of Romania or for anybody else. I just believe in the truth. It was uh, political, so... I believe in God, and I think that uh, the fire of truth will eventually destroy all lies, and anybody who lies in a long enough time frame will feel the sting of regret, and I believe in this. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I truly believe that justice will be served in the end. There is zero percent chance of me being found guilty of something I have not done. I maintain my absolute innocence, and I think most people understand this, and uh, I look forward to... Uh, being home. So thank you very much. What are your plans for the next day? When I was in jail, I did 7,417 push ups. <laughs> now, when you look at the video, I think he's actually gained a little bit of muscle in his shoulders and his triceps. If you look at his shoulders, they're a lot more rounded, they're a lot more capped, and his triceps are looking quite meaty, quite chunky. Andrew Tate also doesn't have the best posture. He has a very rounded forward shoulder position. This is called kyphosis. Some people just have this naturally, and it's because of their spine. Upper spine is just naturally curved. Other people have this due to tight muscles in the chest and shoulders. So when your chest and shoulders are very tight, it pulls your shoulder forward like this. And then other people have got no posture problems or tight muscles whatsoever and they just do it to try and look hard so you do get some lads walking around like that where you see skinny lads and they do this to make themselves look harder which one of them andrew taters i lean on the side of him just having very tight muscles he's kickboxed for years and when you're in kickboxing a lot of the time you're just doing loads of press-ups and then loads of squats there's not really many pulling exercises that you can do when you're just doing body weight circuits so when he's doing fight training he's just getting hundreds or thousands of reps in of pressing which is going to make these muscles tight the anterior delta and the pech. We also know when he does do weights, he tends to do a lot of bench press. That's why he is quite strong. We've seen him on a video a while back with Mike Thurston do 130 kilogram bench press, which is quite impressive for someone who doesn't exclusively lift weights. Yes. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Two reps on 130, now you know. It's good to do. I'm glad I've done it with a... A professional here. But I also think Andrew downplays a little bit how frequent he lifts weights. I definitely think he lifts a lot more frequent and a lot harder than he's telling us. I'm sorry you dorks need injections and meal plans and powders and to give up donuts. I don't. I don't have to do that. I am your superior. Pow! You don't okay. know about me. You don't know about me. Now, I do train. I'm not gonna lie. I do train yeah, every morning. We do. Every morning I train. But I train at home. I'm certainly not going to some gym and giving up my life. I'm certainly not one of them gym bros who only trains and does nothing else. I'm certainly not, you know what I'm not doing? Cutting up broccoli and putting it in little boxes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if I make enough little boxes, 
Maybe I'll get some biceps. There are there are literally Weak. there are literally gay porn movies less gay than meal prep YouTube videos. Gay, super gay. gay. I've seen a few people comment saying, "What's up with Andrew's shoulders and what's up with his posture?" As I say, it's probably just from the tight muscles, the tight pecs and anterior deltoids from just doing that much pressing, that many press ups, that much bench press over the years, and that much kickboxing. It's all anterior deltoid and triceps, and obviously. You are using your back muscles when you retract and punches, but the force is exerted when you throw the punch. So I don't think it's a posture problem. I think it's a muscle imbalance. But as I say, it's to be expected based on the type of sport that he's into. Now, I've also seen a few people say he's gained fat and then people argue and say, yeah, he's bulking. No, Andrew Tate isn't bulking. He's being in jail. He's not sitting there in jail going, right, I've got to get me six meals a day and what's my protein at? The chances are he's being fed absolute crap food. Now, I would have expected them to come out a little bit leaner because you think in prison you're not really given that much food. But obviously, we can see he's gained fat, which will be down to consumption of poor quality food. It's very easy to rack up the calories when you're eating poor quality foods. This is something I tell me clients all the time. I've had clients come to me in the past and they say, Sean, I barely eat. I'm not even eating that much throughout the day. But those people tend to be eating a lot of junk food, high calorie dense foods, high fat foods where there's a lot of calories in them. So they feel like they're not eating much, but they're getting a lot of calories in there. And that's probably why Andrew Tate has gained a bit of fat. That being said, his friend who owns the gym in Dubai, Tam Khan, said in a recent podcast that Andrew has lost 10 kilos he's lost a lot of weight it's not rumors he's lost about 10 to 11 kilos physically suffering the food's not good the conditions they're not letting them groom. Now, it doesn't look like he's lost 10 kilos. If any, and he looks like he's heavier. But an explanation for this could be, well, maybe he's lost four kilos of muscle and gained six kilograms of fat. That being said, I just can't see that being the case. I think he looks a little bit heavier. He doesn't look like he's lost that much muscle. If anything, you see his triceps, you see his chest and his shoulders, he looks bigger. But that doesn't mean he's gained muscle everywhere. He might have gained muscle on his chest and shoulders, but then lost muscle on his legs and his back. It's just hard to say from this video how much muscle he's actually lost. I'm going to lean on the lower end. I think his weight might actually be the same. So he might have gained two kilos of fat, but lost two kilos of muscle. So the net weight gain or weight loss evens out. But how you look and your body composition changes because now you've lost muscle and gained fat. So you look different, but your weight is the same. This is something I've experienced recently since being sick for the last 12 weeks. I've lost a few pounds of muscle and I've gained a few pounds of fat. My weight has stayed exactly the same, but I look drastically different, like a lot worse than I did three months ago. I want to remind everyone it's not over yet. The only on house arrest, it could still go down on a bad path we don't know yet until this six month period is done but hopefully what andrew and tristan can look forward to next is taking advantage of muscle memory so anytime that you build muscle and then lose it you can gain it back faster than it took for you to initially acquire that muscle so if it takes you around 12 months to build five pounds of muscle then you lose that five pounds of muscle chances are it won't take you 12 months again to rebuild that five pounds of muscle it'll take you a lot less maybe six months maybe even 12 weeks so you'll find that once andrew and tristan are released completely and all this is blown over and it's all said and done obviously fingers crossed that they get out the bodies will snap back fairly quick they'll get back into shape quite fast when me and tristan were dming we were talking about his shoulder he had shoulder surgery he lost a lot of muscle and gained a lot of fat you can even go back and see some clips of him he's quite chunky it was because he had shoulder problems he couldn't work out as much he was injured he couldn't lift and the amount of drinking he was doing was just piling the body fat on him so we were just talking back and forth in the dms about how fast he's got back in shape and how fast he's rebuilt the muscle that he lost from being injured and after having surgery surgery and he'll notice that again Tristan is a big guy he's got a lot of muscle on him sometimes you can't tell because Tristan typically has a little bit more body fat on him than Andrew but he does have a lot of muscle so you'll notice in the space of a few months he'll respond super quickly and then everyone on YouTube will start making natty or not about Andrew and Tristan Tate but there's the video boys free the top G's as usual I notice every time I upload an Andrew Tate video I get like five to ten unsubscribers that's to be expected so go on fuck off you're not welcome here <laughs>